One of the special reasons that these tree houses have been here for so long and surviving with the winds of the tree and the health of the tree is because the owner and creator of the tree resort, Michael Garnier, has created the Garnier limb and this limb actually allows the tree to sway and the tree house not to be damaged and so we're going to go talk to Michael about his organ product. Okay, so this is the first in a series of Treehouse Dreamers videos. First one in the series is going to show you how to install a Garnier limb. What I'm trying to do is help people build tree houses. So you can send me a sketch of, of your drawings of what you're doing uh, so I can look at it and within, you know, a blink of an eye I can basically tell you that um, this is what you need or this is what you don't need, but it's, uh, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words, so a picture of your sketch and then a picture of the tree maybe, so I can see actually what you're working with uh, and that can save everybody's time and, and help uh, build a better tree house. You want to put your GL in level. You line it up for which way here. Sometimes it helps to have somebody help find out so you get it perpendicular to the beam that you're going to put on it. Okay, and then we're going to put our level on it. Okay, so it's going to be down a little bit. Okay, now you want to be sure when you get when you get in so far to where it can't throw out any more chips, you need to clear it. All right. But if you can pull it out while it's going forward, you'll clear your hole good and it won't jam it up. I can tell because all the stuff is this color that we're we're at least into our minimum depth that we need to go. It has a little, you know, it's an inch and an eighth, and you can see the lip in there. So it's really important that you line up all your bits, and that's the one thing with this three-stage bit, is it lines up everything up. So it does the one-inch part for the inside diameter of the thread. Then it does the uh, inch and an eighth for this part here, which is like an inch and... Well, it's like an inch and three sixteenths is what it is. Uh, and then this is the three inch and the three inch. And it lines it all up perfectly so that everything bears at the, at the same time. So it's bearing here, 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 and here. You get it right to an inch. All right, there we are, we're right flush. This one here starts a little bit easier. Okay, you take a small one here, and when you start off, you want to go all the way around. So you're, you're getting it in the center of the hole. So you get it started that way, then you get to go to the bigger one. If you can, <coughs> you want to still go all the way around. But see, this tree has lean to it, so you're not going to be able to. So then, you're gonna be mostly doing it over here to the side. And the thing about doing it this way is you're always pulling it on here, so you're wanting to pull this out. So you have to keep checking for level. So it is down some. You wanna hit it up. Then sometimes I'll even come to the inside of the boss. What that does is it's less leverage. Because you're out here, and you're pulling down, there's all this force to want make it want to go up into the tree. Okay, now we're getting too close to the bark. Let's check our level again. Okay, we're still up high, that's good. Okay, now this is where I let the younger guys go to work. Now when you're way up in the tree, and you're on a ladder and stuff, you're, you're, you're here doing this like this, right? And it's kind of, kind of hard to do. Uh, so what you do is you get somebody down on the ground, you put a strap on there or, or a carabiner in here and a rope. One guy picks it up, the people on the ground pull it down. Let's see, we're starting to get in close. We got just a little bit more to go. And you should be able to feel it when you're starting to get there. We're right in there, it will compress the wood inside a little bit. And then let's check it for 
level. It's not going to matter. We're not going to be able to change it. That's where it is. All right, it's nice and solid. This is the other way of doing it. And then coming back with this one here. But what that's, this one does not do this part here in, in, on it. So it doesn't do anything for this thing here, but it will compress, it'll compress the wood in softer woods. Now, if you do it in a two step with a one inch first and it's a soft wood, this is a pine. So you can do it probably with an 18 volt drill. But if you're in hardwood or you're doing all three stages at a time, you need a bigger drill. Okay, this is a two stage. Now this bit doesn't have a, a counter bore on it. But for softwood, you don't really need it. This here gives you, keeps this GL out more and gives you more room for growth. For light loads, this is the least that you want to do. For stronger, for full loads though, you want to bring this all the way in. We're in pretty much right to the, to the inside of the cambium layer. So we got pretty much the full weight bearing of this. Now, this one here, this bit here, does not have this counter bore. So what we do is we take a pocket knife. This part here doesn't have any threads and the inside diameter of this is one inch. This is um, about an inch and a quarter, almost an inch and a quarter. So this hole is one inch. So this has to compress this. In hardwoods like oaks and stuff, you want to be sure to have that third stage so you want so you want to have that counter bore